Hey fellow tennis nerds and welcome to another review. This time I'm talking about a classic racket, the uh, Microgel. So what is a Microgel racket? It's an older technology from Head uh, that was quite popular, especially among the Radical fans. They had the Radical uh, Mid Plus from the Microgel. It was very soft, like a 58 stiffness when it came out, still for sale today. So that shows how popular it is. But the reissue is a little bit stiffer, but still quite a plush frame. This one uh, is an extreme racket, so it's uh, supposed to give you extreme amount of power and spin. Uh, I would say compared to the current extremes, it's not, it's more controlled for sure. The microgel technology really helps make it a bit softer on the arm. I don't notice any kind of discomfort from this frame. Uh, this is with the factory string. I bought two used and I've uh, been trying them and I really enjoy this frame. I, the reason I bought them because I used it a while back and uh, I remember really liking it and I wanted to give it kind of a classic racket review touch. Uh, try it and see if I remember it in my head the way it played. And it, and it does play that way. It's softer than the stiffness rating suggests, which I think is high 60s. Still much softer, especially if you're with a synthetic gut that still plays relatively controlled, I would say. And um, it has a, a big sweet spot, as you can see here, the head size is, is huge. For some players that might be weird, uh, I'm not, not not usually a huge fan of, of these really round, big head shapes, but uh, this one doesn't bother me as much. And uh, I'm using the Pro version, 100 square inches, obviously, 24, 26, 23 millimeter beam, standard 27 length, um, 315 grams, the Pro model. The MP model from the Extreme is 295 a little bit extended so you get more stability so slightly extended 295 this one has a 31 centimeter balance without strings so we're adding strings you're going to get around six seven points at light 16 19 string pattern uh, and pretty tight in the middle as you can see here uh, quite wide here uh, this is a uh, really the, the thing with this big open string pattern um, but i really like this with racket even with the synthetic gut in it it's, it's very very nice uh, quite controlled for a tweener frame, an extreme frame. I wouldn't say it's as extreme as the name uh, kind of says it is, but definitely something you should give a go if you find it at a thrift store or used at a cheap price. I bought these quite cheap, so that's the good thing with tennis rackets. If you're a nerd, you can find these um, used tennis rackets really cheap. Give them a go. Maybe it's the next racket of choice. Maybe it's just something fun to hang on the wall or put in your bag or it's something you can just sell onwards again because you didn't like it so it's not like a huge investment uh, like a new racket can be because a new racket is goes around 200 250 bucks and that's a lot of money uh, to spend on one racket maybe you if you're competing uh, on some level you're, you're gonna need three uh, rackets at least and then you're gonna you know spend a lot of money on tennis rackets so look for the use at the used market it's a good tip you can find some old but gold frames there i do that from time to time and get them and i do a review and perhaps i sell them onwards so uh, if you're looking for kind of old rackets you can contact me and see if i have something in stock uh, that stocks changes all the time because I'm, I'm constantly looking if there's something that would be interesting to put up in front of the camera uh, like the head microgel x3 which i really enjoyed so um yeah spin power but not excessive uh decent sweet spot not the biggest one not as, as big as a gravity i would i would say uh but but easy power a little bit difficult to control with the synthetic guts i i strung it up with a poly string um head hawk touch was a bit better for the control but i, I did actually like the feel of the synthetic gut here um in a way because I, I got some spin but it's still kind of deadened that launch a little bit because with the, with this kind of head size you're gonna get a, a quite significant launch uh, over the net and I, I prefer a more controlled angle from the string bed and I think uh, with the synthetic gut you're getting a little bit more control weirdly as it sounds might not get depth control but you're getting launch control because you're not getting that extra spin and bite from the string bed where the pulley kind of grabs the, the ball and just sends it higher uh, and I, I for my game I prefer a little bit of a more controlled trajectory of the tennis ball uh, so that's a good thing with this synthetic gut in it uh, I would might be trying hybrid if I would use these in a tournament uh, but I wouldn't probably use a full bed of the poly because I felt like that was a bit launch for my taste but you know lack of control uh, decent stability uh, for a 315 gram racket I think the stability could be a bit improved on volleys um because it felt a little bit wobbly at times but otherwise it's a racket i really enjoy and really like uh, so if you see one around give it a go see if you like it 
that's all for this classic racket review head microgel extreme pro uh, if you have a racket i think i should review uh please send it to me no i'm joking but uh, you can comment in the comments below and tell me you should check out this frame if uh, i haven't already um and the question is if i can find it and then I'll, I'll do a review and we'll see if we agree on how excellent it is or not uh, well that's all for this one guys uh, if you need help finding a tennis racket whether it's an old but gold or a new retail model check out the tennis nerd consultation service if you need uh, more content or want more content you should become a patron at patreon.com slash tennis nerd you get unique videos and vlogs each week for only a few bucks a month that's all for this one have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis